Welcome to Spirit Night Silence. My name is Jasmine Ellis. All right. Our investigation brings us to King Alfred's Tower. Henry Flickcroft designed this folly in 1772. The three corners are boundaries for Somerset, Wiltshire, Dorset. Now, I am stating here and now Dorset because when the tower was built, Dorset's borders, boundaries, was here. And it hasn't been not long ago that Dorset actually moved the borders and I just feel since this was once the border of Dorset it should be mentioned in this video. In thick fog on July the 10th 1944 a military plane carrying five Americans killed as the plane hit of the tower. Also, people have stated seeing American airmen around here sitting, talking to one another. Hopefully tonight we may get a glimpse of the American pilots. Some 1.2 million bricks were used to build King Alfred's Tower. The bricklayers, they sat upon the rising wall. They had no scaffolding and several accidental deaths took place. The story has it that at night time you can hear the cries and the screams from this day on as they fell to the deaths. This has been believed to be the hanging tree. Now there is an interesting story attached to this tree. It's getting dark now and we've got another place to actually go before we can start our investigation. But we are here to the hanging tree. The story has it here a man got hung for treason. Now he wasn't in no army but he could not understand, love more money, why you had the royal, royalist soldiers, you had parliament soldiers, and then of course you had the rebellion rebels fighting against the two big armies. This man, who was a servant to one of the big lords, the royalists, caught him, he didn't have a trial, they just brought him here to this tree and hung him until he was dead. His part of the war, his servant, hood, all finished when he got hung on this spot when it was the English Civil War. Tonight, this is going to be our first stop. This is the car park for King Alfred's Tower. And apparently, from other investigators, says this is the most haunted part of the area. So we are going to find out tonight if the car park is actually haunted, if Alfred's Tower is haunted, and also the hanging tree. Now, we are going to see which one is the most haunted out of the three stops? Now it's been stated here, it's been stated also that around this part of the car park there has been swirling white mist. And we're hoping tonight also to find out what is causing the swirling white mists. 
It's also been stated here in the car park that people sitting in their car, all of a sudden the car stops rocking back to and fro, scaring people out. If that wasn't enough, they said there was even banging on the car window, which makes visitors here start their engines and go off in a cloud of smoke and never to return again by the sheer horror of what they felt sitting in the car. So hopefully tonight, around the car, we may, just may, have a fright of our lives.